Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adelia Aborashade and today we are going to be talking about 10 reasons why you should not move to Mexico City. Uh, welcome to the channel if you are new here. Uh, I am a financial coach who returned to Mexico City after living two years in Asia. I love this city, but I will be the first one to tell you that it is not the right place for everyone. So uh, thing number one on my list of reasons why you should not move to Mexico City is if you need quiet. This city is rarely ever quiet. Uh, I'm not talking just about tr uh, traffic noises, sirens, music, vendors, your neighbors. I mean, like the walls are technically made of cinder block, but I can tell you when my neighbor gets up and makes a smoothie, um, I'm sure they can tell you what music I like because they can probably hear it. The way buildings are designed, uh, you, can, you know what's going on. You know who's having a party. So this is not a quiet place. Oftentimes I see people commenting in the various foreigner groups about like, oh, my neighbor had a party until 3 a.m., which is actually not that late by Mexican standards. And you know, who can I call about the noise? Noise is a way of life in Mexico City. So if you're somebody who needs it really quiet, this is not the place for you. Okay, reason number two that you should not move to Mexico City is if you need a job in order to afford to live here. Hear me out. Uh, a lot of people talk about how ch cheap or affordable living in Mexico and living in Mexico City are. While yes, it is more affordable than the US, the cost of living is less, um, the pay is not great here, okay? So a lot of the, the benefits that you get because of the cost of living is really if either you're living off of savings or you are earning dollars or euros, but living here on peso prices. So if in order to make this move, you need a job here, this is probably not the place for you. Just to give you an idea, the Mexican minimum wage is about $4 per day, okay? Um, so if your entire ex pat move hinges on your ability to have a job while here you need a work visa and to get a work visa the employer has to prove that you've got a skill set that a mexican does not okay just like any other country they want to reserve jobs for locals so if you need to work while you're here either you need to have your own business or you need to work at a company that will then transfer you to mexico city then you can be living large. Um, if you're a, a certified school teacher, yes, you could teach at an international school here and earn money while you're here and have the appropriate visa. But if you think, oh, I'm going to come to Mexico and uh, Mexico City and I'm gonna get a job teaching English, be prepared to make less than $5 an hour teaching English. And I don't know that you're gonna be able to support yourself the way you want on those wages. Number three, uh, Mexico City is not a good choice for you if you have problems with elevation. Uh, Mexico City is at, I think about 7,400 feet above sea level. Uh, I have seen people get taken out by the altitude within hours of getting here. So if you know you have issues with high altitude, uh, this may not be the right place for you. Um, also, if you have respiratory issues where you are incredibly sensitive to pollution, this may not be the city for you. Mexico City, you know, does live up to its reputation as having a lot of pollution. My personal experience, it hasn't been an issue for me, but I'm originally from Houston. So, you know, I grew up 
With smog, it's not that really of a big deal for me. Four, if you are a big rule follower, Mexico City is not the place for you. You should not move to Mexico City if you need everybody to follow the rules and follow the official policy because the culture here is not like that. Um, yes, uh, it, if you ever seen, what is it, Pirates of the Caribbean and they talk about the code being more of a set of guidelines, that's what rules tend to be here. And if you're somebody who is going to get bent out of shape because people did not follow the letter of the policy, living in Mexico City is going to be really difficult for you. You've got to be, you've got to have some flexibility and, and be a little bit laid back to enjoy this city. Number five, if you are impatient, you should not move to Mexico City. Like I just said for number four, you, you, you have to be able to relax. You gotta be, have a little bit of chill to you. Um, like I said, the culture here, nobody's in a hurry to do anything. I can't think of, yeah, nobody is in a hurry to do anything. And then when you add in traffic, if you're somebody who gets bent out of shape because it's like, oh, I need to be there right now, oh, you are going to be miserable in Mexico City because traffic can be horrendous. Also, uh, the cultural attitude about punctuality and time, <laughs> far more, <laughs> far more relaxed than in the United States. Um, Oftentimes, if I, this is pre-COVID, of course, when I received an invitation, I, I don't know, can y'all hear my neighbor up there? Um, when I received an invitation to an event and the start time says nine, I would have to ask somebody Mexican, like what time are people really going to show up? Because if you, the party's supposed to start at nine and you show up at nine, you gonna be the only person there. The people throwing the party may not even be there. <laughs> so being impatient will make you miserable here. You really have to kind of chill and go with the flow. This is also true if you've got to deal with uh, any kind of government office or that sort of thing. Um, things do not work like clockwork, kind of what we're used to in the United States. Number six, if you, you should not move to Mexico City if you think the height of Mexican cuisine is Taco Bell. The food here is incredible. And this is coming from me, the picky girl who hardly eats anything, but the few things that I do eat, they are incredible here. But if you're coming here and you're looking for like crunchy, um, crunchy tacos, nachos, you want queso, it, that, that's not really Mexican food and you'll be really disappointed. You want a, a, a chalupa, everybody's gonna look at you crazy, like what are you talking about, okay? So if you're expecting Mexican food to be what you've been getting at Taco Bell and that's what you've got your, your heart set on, you're gonna be so disappointed. But if you are open, oh my gosh, you're gonna be blown away by the food. Number seven, you should not move to Mexico City if you don't like dogs. Mexico City is incredibly dog friendly. Uh, as many of you know, I have a miniature schnauzer who has lived with me around the world. She's not the reason I chose Mexico City, but that was a definite added benefit. But that kind of goes back to number one, because dogs are popular, you're gonna, in the noise, you're gonna hear dogs barking. Um, you will, it's not uncommon to be on the subway or on a bus and somebody have a dog <laughs> in a bag or in their arms. You go to the cafe, there's probably, somebody's gonna have a dog there. I bring my dog. Um, heck, this is, this is what really tripped me out about Mexico City. This was the first time I'd ever been someplace and people would walk their dogs, but the dogs aren't on leashes. They're just walking freely. 
and then they'll call the dog to come on and the dog goes. Um, I've never seen dogs as well behaved anywhere else as I have in Mexico City. And I, I know all of Mexico, that is not the case. But in Mexico City, it is a very dog friendly place. It is somewhere where people embrace dogs that belong to them. They walk up to a stranger and pet the dog. So if you don't like dogs, if you get squeamish because there's a dog in the cafe, you're probably not going to enjoy life in Mexico City. Number eight. If you have dreams of living close to the beach, Mexico City is not the place for you. The closest beach to Mexico City is in Acapulco, which I believe is somewhere between a five and six hour drive. Um, now, from Mexico City, I could fly to the beach in an hour probably but if you want to be like a stone's throw away from the beach this is not the city for you number nine you should not move to mexico city if you really want to live someplace that has all four seasons and they are distinctly different from one another in mexico city the weather is pretty much the same all year round uh it is it's very comfortable i think the weather is great it is one of my top reasons of why i love living here but if you need the winter to be like super cold that's not here if you want real heat in the summer not mexico city trust me there are other parts of mexico uh, that will give you plenty of heat that will give you cold and snow but that is not mexico city in mexico city it is virtually the same the entire year um, it does get a little hot in like april may and by hot i'm talking about like 85 degrees fahrenheit that's hot um this winter it didn't even get into it didn't get into the low 40s i think it was high 40s that was as cold as it got this winter um so we don't we don't have fall we don't really have spring and winter and summer the way you know some places do so if that's your thing mexico city's not going to be for you and number 10 the final reason why you should not move to mexico city is if you don't like crowds Mexico City is about the size of the city of Houston. If you compare the, the, the geographical area of the two places, they are roughly the same. Um, I think Houston is a little bit bigger, but in the number of people there are in Mexico City compared to the number of people in Houston, uh, Mexico City blows it out of the water. So if you like big open spaces with very few people, Mexico City is not for you. There's something like about three, four times as many people here as there are in the city of Houston. So that means walking down the streets, it will be crowded. You go to an event, it will be crowded. Um, so if, if, if you're somebody who really doesn't like that, Mexico City is not a great choice for you. So I hope you found this list of reasons not to move to Mexico City useful, helpful in your journey and deciding like where you wanna be uh, when you move abroad. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel um, in the description, I'm going to link uh, the other videos I did on Mexico City, one about finding an apartment and the other about what are my monthly costs living in Mexico City. Okay, so I'll see y'all next time.